Welcome back YouTube, it's been a while. I've been underway, I've been going place to place. I was on the ship, now I'm off. And uh, we're gonna get back into it and do some fishing. We'll catch some flounders, we're some gonna, doormats. We're gonna catch some doormats today. By the way, this dude needs to wash this Jeep. Look at this dirtiness. I'm actually afraid to touch this. I'm just fucking. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Hurricane Matthew just battered the East Coast. It uh, started with Florida, it's working its way up to us now, so we might come into some rain a little bit later. But uh, it's not going to stop us from fishing, it shouldn't stop you, and uh, yeah. So uh, in case you're wondering where all these cool knots came from, my little friend Cody here is a little boatswain's mate, if uh, you didn't know that. BMSN, so he's a... Monkey's nest. Oh yeah. You ever need a ball of lead, he can help you out. I'm sure can. He's naughty. How about the necklace game? Look at that. That's all the steel leaders put together. That's pretty lame. Ingenuity. That's right pretty lame. There. That's pretty lame. He's gonna come out of the closet. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, guys, we just made it to Ocean's East. Uh, here to pick up some tackle. Where were we getting again? Can't tell him the secrets. St stumped him. All right, so no. we're getting some gulps. No, some gulp shrimp, four inch shrimp, white, with either a star truce or a hot pink tail. And he's the uh, flounder pounder. He's been crushing them lately, so uh, I'd listen. We're gonna try that and see how it works. He's actually. Worth his weight, we'll find out. Three eighths ounce jig. So we're at the wall of gulp at Ocean's East. Uh, we just picked up some swimming mullets. Cody's here looking at some clearance stuff. They got everything you need here. And uh, yeah, we're about ready to go. Probably spent 30 bucks on jig heads and swimming mullets. But uh, it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna catch some door mats today. <laughs> what you buying there? Can't talk, I'm not watching it. <laughs> River right, high tide was a dramatic last night at about 1 to 2 a.m. when we swept off the air. The Savannah River was jumping right over its banks. This entire area was underwater. Alright guys, we just left Ocean's East. Uh, we picked up some gold and mullets and we're going to be heading our way to Norfolk Naval Station. We're going to be fishing some secret spots, can't tell you where, mainly because I don't want you to get in trouble, but uh, hey, got to do what you got to do to catch the fish. Alright guys, so we just got back from Ocean's East. Uh, I picked up these 3 inch ripple mullets, and they are chartreuse slash morning glory, chartreuse tailed. Uh, I'm going to pair that with a half ounce jig head, one of those gotcha jig heads, nothing fancy, just a regular plain old jig head. And the uh, knot I'm going to use to attach is going to be a uni knot. And I don't tighten my unis all the way down when I fish jig heads like this. I like to leave a tiny loop. Uh, that kind of gives it a little bit more action, I feel like. But then again, I don't know. I haven't really tested it out. So I couldn't tell you. One of my buddies who makes videos over at uh, Land Shark Fishing, he uh, did a comparison. And when I watched his video, I didn't really see too much of a difference. So maybe it doesn't. Also, don't use your teeth to bite line. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. But, uh, yeah. We're about to get the ball rolling. And uh, head on base. Hopefully, I don't have a flat tire because I picked up a nail last week. It's like $420 for a new tire. So, I'm trying to hang on to uh, the old one as long as I can. So, uh, this is what we'll be working with here. You guys can't really see it. I'll zoom in for you. Hold on. I need to change the focus because I shoot manual. One of these ways is going to be the right way. There we go. Alright, so 3 inch ripple mullet. Just uh, that half ounce jig head. If you can see that uni knot, that's what I was talking about. About leaving a loop there. You can see that little loop. It gives it a little bit more action, more freedom in the water. But uh, yeah, we're going to start off with that and see how uh, we can do that little guy. Tire pressure. Picked up a nail and it is leaking like a sieve.
there catching bait. I doubt you can hear me with this wind. I was trying to yell. Slowly but surely catching bullets. Some nice little baits for uh, flounder. Three foot is this. Now I'm barefoot. I can't fish barefoot. They're gonna yell at me. Ah, so we hooked up. First fish of the day. Feels like a flounder. Fighting like a flounder. Oh, that is not what we wanted. Not one bit. Hey, there's fish in Oh, this is very disappointing. That one. Got something. Oh, there's a flounder. First one of the day. First flounder of the day. Caught him on one of those mullets. Ah, not very big. Say it's probably 10 inches, but uh, yeah, we're gonna let him go. Got Cody down there fishing. Got this guy right here. And there he goes back into the water. Fortunately, it's raining, so I can't really use the DSLR too much, but uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is our current situation. It started a downpour on us, and we might be done for the day due to this hurricane. Welcome back guys. Uh, I'm sorry we failed you. Caught one flounder, one uh, oyster fish, and like two crabs. We got rained out, wasn't too good, but uh, we're back here now. We'll fish again. It's coming. We stopped, got some McDonald's. So stay tuned until next time, and we'll be back and catch more fish.